This is an occurrence sometimes purposely brought about by backwater downstream from a spillway or sluice gate to change high velocity to low velocity flow for purposes of structural safety. Since the flow is essentially uniform before and after the breaking front, the relationship between the celerity and the change in depth can readily be evaluated through use of the simplified continuity and impulse momentum relationships for one-dimensional flow with this result. The jump is seen to take place between the supercritical and subcritical regimes without benefit of channel constriction. In fact, the equation for the surge celerity, which now equals the velocity of the oncoming flow, can be written in terms of the Froude number. Evidently, F equals 1 when D2 equals D1. Through additional use of the work energy relationship, it will be found that a considerable loss in total head must take place if the other two equations are to be satisfied. This results from the generation of turbulence at the breaking front, the energy of which is rapidly dissipated through viscous shear.